what is up welcome back to part 3 of the roblox simulator tutorial series before i get started i just want to apologize for not uploading in quite a while i've just been busy with some work and school but anyways in today's part we'll be covering two main things which will be adding cooldowns also known as debounce to your tools and animating the tool as well so we can bring some life into our game so before I get started, I'm just going to be addressing an issue that you guys have been talking about in the comments. So if you downloaded the tutorial place from the link in the description or from the comments and you click play, you might notice that you have this type of error and nothing seems to be working. So you need to actually fix this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is press Alt P on your keyboard so you can publish this place so you can create a new place or publish it on an older place once the game is public you can click play and it should work completely fine okay so let's get started with the first part which is adding a cooldown slash debounce so if you go ahead and use the weight right now you can see that you can click as fast as you can and we want this to be slower so that you can't gain strength this quickly so the way we're going to do this is by going into the weight script and we're going to be adding a new variable so local debounce equals true and we're going to take this and place it up here and we're also going to be doing a wait time amount so we're just going to name this cooldown equals so let's make it that they can press every half a second so 0.5 so now we're going to into this function and we're going to do if debounce then and put an end statement at the end so now we have this so if debounce then you can add strength so now we're going to do debounce equals false and wait cooldown debounce equals true. So it's going to wait until the cooldown is finished and then it can add weight once again. So if we test the game right now and use our weight, you can see that we can only gain strength every half a second. So that is basically how you can do that. Also, if you want to change this cooldown amount, you can make this however long you want. If you want it to be 0.1 seconds, you can do that, or you can do 2 seconds or more. But I'm just going to leave it at 0.5. Okay, so now let's get into the fun part, which is animations. So you're going over to the plugin section, and you will see this area right here. So click Rig Builder, and make sure it's on the R15 part. And you can choose any of these, but I would go for the block rig since it's the simplest to use. Then just click on the animation editor and you will have this window over here. I'm just going to minimize it for now and click on your dummy and click OK. Now it will show this. So this might look a little bit complicated but it's okay it's not as complicated as you might think. So you can place this window wherever you want. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uncheck these because we're not going to use these parts for our animation. I'm just going to place this on the bottom. So now we're going to take the right hand and put it up. So we're going to do an animation lift the weight. So we're going to start by putting his hand like this. So you can click on the part you want to rotate and put it just like that. And click R on your keyboard to change from movement to rotation and vice versa. So this is the pose that he's going to hold the weight in. Let's actually modify it a bit. So there you go. Okay, now we can just export this and you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this hold weight. Okay, now we want to do an animation for when he lifts the weight. So we're just going to do go over by a little bit and we're going to change this. Rotate it. So he's actually lifting the weight. We can place this somewhere else. Just like that. Now as you can see looks like he's lifting the weights so we're just going to put the so these are basically the keyframes that you want to move and this is the time that it uses so now if we play this you can see that he's lifting it looks like he's lifting the weight you can you can click this to check how it looks when it's looped so he's lifting the weight as you can see so this is not very fast, so we're going to change this to 2 seconds. So we're going to slow it down a bit. So 
So he lifts the weight. And then we're going to go back over here and copy this part and click Ctrl V to paste it over here. So now we can see that he actually looks like he's lifting the weight. So you can make this look however you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and put his arm a little lower, just like that. So this is the animation that we're going to use to lift the weight. So all you have to do now, once you've finished, click export and create new. I'm just going to name this lift weight. Now if you don't want to actually do these animations, you can go ahead and download the tutorial file in the description where you can take the animations that I made during this video. Now we can close this out and then click OK. So now we're going to go over back to the weight, click this plus button and we find an animation. Click Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it and we're just going to name this one hold and the other one will be lift. So now that you have the animations, you're going to over to create on Roblox, click on animations and find these last animations that we've made. So this is for the hold weight, we're going to copy the ID and paste it in here. Same thing with the lift weight, we're just going to control C to copy it, go into the lift animation and paste it. So now we just need to script this, so we're going into our main script and we're going to add some new variables. So we're going to do local humanoid game dot workspace colon wait for child game dot players dot local player dot name colon wait for child humanoid so just like this now we're going to do local hold equals humanoid colon load animation script dot parent dot hold so this is the variable that is going to contain the hold animation. Now we're just going to make a new variable for the lift animation. So same thing, humanoid colon load animation and script.parent.lift. So now we need to add some new events. So we're going to do wait.equip colon connect open brackets function hold colon play and wait dot unequipped colon connect open brackets function hold colon stop and over here we're going to do lift colon play so this is basically playing the animation so if we click play if you start lifting the weight you start realizing that we have a problem where the player isn't actually animated. So to fix this, we're going to need to re-import our animation. So go back into our animation editor and we're going to import the lifting animation. So make sure it's not looped. We're going to click edit and set priority and make it action. So now I can re-export this back into the same animation. Close this out, click OK. So if we replay the game, we should be able to see the animation as you can see, he's now lifting the weight. So that just brings a little bit more life into the game. But we realize that we have a new problem where if you click rapidly, the animation replays every time. So we're going to actually stop this and we're going to add another cooldown over here. Local debounce equals true. Local cooldown equals 0.5. So over here, we're just going to add something else. So we're going to do and debounce. So now we're just going to do debounce equals false, wait cooldown, and debounce equals true. So if we go ahead and play the game, we have another cooldown for our tool. So now as you can see, it doesn't replay every time we click. That is all we have for this part. Hopefully you guys can come back in part 4 where we will be covering how to make rebirths on your simulator. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you have any problems as always. And otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Peace.